Okay, so three methods of broadening the shoulders. This is from Steve Reeves. Now, there are three basic angles from which broadening of the shoulders can be accomplished. The first is development of the deltoid or shoulder muscle. Proper exercise and effort in this direction can easily add two to four inches to your shoulder width. The second approach is to broaden the shoulders by developing the thorax or rib box to its fullest capacity. As most of you readers probably know, the scapula and shoulder blades are mounted on the rib box. Thus, when the rib box is developed to its fullest possible extent, it is readily apparent that you will thus in turn add inches to the width of your shoulders. It is really a natural, simple consequence that must follow. The third, but by no means least, important approach is to stretch and enlarge the tendons and cartilages between the scapula or shoulder blades and the humerus upper arm bone. This may be accomplished by dislocating with dumbbells, dislocating on rings and also with shoulder stretching exercises. By using these three methods combined it is possible to add up to 6 inches to the shoulder width, 15 centimeters. This may sound a bit far-fetched to the skeptics but you can take my word for it. I have seen it done. And I'm not referring to rare, isolated cases either. Of course, those fellows who start out with a lot of enthusiasm and determination but then get to feel that it is too much drudgery to keep it at it regularly will find that their progress at best is slow. But those whose determination to build their body is more than just conversation will find that the figures I have mentioned are not at, are not at all exaggerated. And this is from Steve Reeves' book. So, I mean, broad shoulders. You see, you, it's not all. Uh, it's not genetics. You know everything. 